Good evening, everybody. It is, what's today? Thursday, yay. The 21st, which means it's my 21st day going live on Instagram in this 31 day challenge. Um, I'm a little late getting on. I guess it's like nine Eastern. I usually try to try. I like to get in and on a little earlier, but that's okay. I've been busy doing my trip prep. Oh, by the way, I am Ingrid Hawkins, the founder creator of Passport and Wine Bottles. And um, this week I've just been kind of walking through what I've been doing to prepare for my long journey tomorrow night. Uh, to Bali. Um, the week didn't go quite as I had planned. I had planned to be packed by now. <laughs> I'm not packed. But luckily, I, I don't leave for the airport until tomorrow afternoon. So we're good. I have all night and tomorrow morning. But no, I will seriously try to get that done today. Um, <clears throat> I, it's just a matter of putting it in the, in the luggage. It's been like put into, um, not packing cubes. I actually have, eh, and I guess had I thought about it, I could show you, but it's like one big packing cube that you, um, fold into each other. Uh, so yeah, I, I have packing cubes, but I think that using this, it's like a garment bag. That's what it's, it's kind of, it's reminiscent of a garment bag, but it actually has, um, different compartments where you can pack your stuff. So I find that when I use that, it takes up less space in my luggage. Uh, so, um, thanks for joining me, Karen, Karen Alexandria. Um, just kind of walking through my prep for my trip on tomorrow. Um, actually headed to Bali, so I've been trying to get my luggage packed, which I haven't done yet. Um, so yeah, I have like a garment bag type of packing cube that I'm going to use. Um, I just find that since I'll be moving around once I get to Bali... I just find that having a garment bag type of um, back packing cube, I'm calling it that, but that's not really what it is. Um, I really should have set the camera up so I could show you, but I'm holding my phone, sorry. Um, but it, <clears throat> But it's just easier to kind of take the whole garment bag out and just kind of hang it up so I can see everything rather than pulling out individual packing cubes. Um, so... That's what I'm using. It probably has like one, two, three, four big, two little packing cubes and two big ones. So I'm able to put everything into the one garment bag and just fold it up into each other and put it in my luggage. And it sits nicely at the bottom of my luggage. So I have plenty of room for, guess what? A bottle of wine. Um, so I am taking a bottle of wine with me as well. Um, and I do have a shoe problem. Um... Just because I'm not sure of the weather, I'm not sure of the terrain, and I don't know, Karen, you you said yes to Bali and gave you some hand claps, so maybe you've been there. Not sure what kind of shoes to wear. It's my first time there. Um, so I have like athletic sandals, I have some uh, tennis shoes or sneakers, um, and I have some water shoes. I guess uh, I have some flip-flops too. So once you put all that in, it's like four, five pair of shoes, which eh, might seem seem obsessive, but it's kind of just to be prepared for whatever terrain I have to deal with um, in Bali. Um, so I know I need the water shoes and I'm comfortable in my flip-flops, but I know that a lot of walking in, in flip-flops isn't that great for you. So that's why I have my tennis shoes. So we'll see, but that's what's going in my luggage. I believe me, it's all set aside. Um, I, hopefully by midnight, <laughs> it will be in my luggage. And um, tomorrow will just be me um, packing my, making sure I have my passport and copies of my passport. Um, oh, okay. You've never been. Um, yeah, lots of good packages to Bali. Um, and I've already been told that I'm already going to want to go back because this is a short trip for me. Um, only 
six days, I think. And someone said, yeah, that's just enough to get a good taste. So I think I'm probably going to go back. So stay tuned to my page because you may see some stuff pop up um, probably later on this year about some trips to Bali. So, uh, But that's just depending on if I like it or not. I may not like it. Who knows? <laughs> I doubt that. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so tomorrow I will... Um, just kind of gather all my paperwork, make sure I have it all, everything. Um, I have actually been in a situation where I could not pull up information on my phone at the airport for some odd reason. It wasn't a Wi-Fi thing. I just couldn't pull it up. So I have learned to print or write it on paper. <laughs> so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow, gathering all that stuff, making sure I have my passport, um, making sure I have my global entry number because I have run into a situation where the systems were down and they wanted to know what's your global entry number. And I'm like, who knows that? So now I know to write that down too, or have it somewhere where I can get to it in case I'm asked about it. So I'll take care of all the little paperwork type stuff tomorrow. That's easy breezy, but I will get the luggage packed tonight. <laughs> so just wanted to give an update on how my preparation for Bali is going. Um, and as you can tell, if you watched previously, I was a little under the weather, but I did go to the doctor and she worked miracles because I feel good. Still runny nose, but that's okay. Um, i not congested and no issues with my ears. So she said that I'm good to fly. So I'm happy about that. Did not want to cancel a trip to Bali because I was sick. <laughs> anyway, so I'm good. So stay tuned um, for the next episode, <laughs> uh, which will be tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I do it before I leave or after I get to the airport. So I haven't decided yet, but stay tuned. Um, thanks for checking me out. I uh, appreciate it, Karen Alexandria, for checking me out. And again, like I said, keep following me. Uh, you might see something pop up regarding Bali, uh, a Bali trip later on this year. But anyway, have a good night. I'll talk to you guys later.